Hello everyone, I'm here today with a new video and this is my prep slash intro video for the album I'm going to do for my trip to Europe in the fall of 2022 and I started in Amsterdam and then we went to four different cities in Belgium. We were based in Brussels but we went to four different cities and then we also crossed over into Lille, France which is just over the border. Very easy to get to from Brussels. I was struggling with what project to do next and chronologically this is the next one and I admit I was procrastinating a little because of the sheer volume <laughs> of layouts that this is going to be. I took so many photos and everything that we saw was gorgeous. So, you know, what a problem to have that all the pictures are great. But I did put it off a little bit and just sort of didn't want to think about it because I knew it was going to be a huge project. But I'm ready to get started. This is the album I'm using. I showed this in my album extravaganza video. It is a 6x12, so this is going to be a big one. This is the inside, which I absolutely adore. I love that you can see a map of the world there. And this manufacturer, they're actually based in Spain. All of their three rings are like this. They're quite large, so you can fit a ton of stuff in here. So I'm excited to see, can I really fit this whole trip into one album? I think I can, if I'm smart about it. So that's the album I'm using. And then under here, I have all of the envelopes I have of the stuff I gathered. You can see they're labeled with dates. So I remember oops, what order they go in and oh, they're out of order speaking of and what's in each one. It's just easier to separate the memorabilia and the things that I picked up along the way. It's easier to do it this way. So I have all of those. And then in this bin, I have all of the embellishments and paper and cards and things like that that I have gathered. So I'm going to give a look at all of that stuff. Well, I've decided to be a little mean here. I was going to take out all the stuff from each of these and show everything, but now I've decided I'm not going to. I'm going to keep that as a surprise because I have tons of train tickets, museum brochures, receipts, um, business cards that we picked up from places we ate, things like that. And it's really cool stuff and I kind of want to keep it as a surprise for when I do the layout. So just know that it's there and you'll see it eventually. But I can show everything that's in here. And I have quite a mix of stuff. Not as much paper as I used to have when I did more traditional albums. Because now that I'm doing pockets, I don't need large you know, pieces of 12 by 12 paper, generally speaking, like I normally would back then. So I have some, but not a lot. So I can show that at the very end, but I'm going to do all of the acrylics and the different size cards, embellishments, all that, because I have some really fun stuff I want to try to use here. So first of all, I want to show two things that they actually were in those envelopes but I had taken them out and put them in here just because they're a little bit bulkier or a weird size or whatever and I was worried about them pressing into some other things. This one is a patch that I bought in Ghent so I'm hoping that I can just put some red line tape on it and use that somewhere. And then this was a little wooden bookmark that I got in Bruges and I love it but I would never really use that as a bookmark but it's kind of perfect for scrapbooking. Look how thin it is. So it's not going to add a lot of bulk. It's not heavy at all. So I think that will be fun to use. I have this package of acetate pieces and these are from Ellie's studio. I've had these a while and I bought two sets actually, and it's taken me forever to go through them. So I still have a lot left, even though I've used a lot, I swear I have, but I love them because they're just see-through and then white print on them. So you can pretty much overlay them on anything and they look good. So I'm hoping I can use a couple of those. And then I have some foam and acrylic pieces. This one is foam from Allie Edwards. I don't remember when I got this. I've had it a while though, but again, it's just white print or font. And I love that because it makes it very versatile. I can use it almost anywhere. And if for any reason I don't use it for this album, back in the stash it goes. I'll just save it for another one. And then I have quite a few acrylic options here. Most of these are from Color Cast Designs. So this one just says Sightsee. I love this, but it's the color that's the problem. I'm not sure that that's going to work with any photos I have, but I have it in here just in case. 
And the same goes as with the foam one. If I don't use it, no big deal. I'll use it for something else. In here, I actually have three. And you can kind of see this sparkly silver one back there. I have some night shots that, that might work for. I'm not quite certain. I have to really get the photos printed and take a peek again, but I think it might work well. So I'm excited to try to make that fit in somehow. And then again, I have that same color as I have over here. Not sure that'll work. And actually this yellow, not sure about that either. I can't think of anything right offhand that was super bright yellow in what we did or saw, but you never know. It's been several months since we went. I haven't looked at the pictures directly lately, so you never know, but it's in here. And then I have this very, very thin wood veneer that just says going places, but because it was an international trip, I felt like I might be able to squeeze that in somewhere. And we did take multiple trains when we were there as well that crossed country borders. So that may work as well. Then I have this set of acrylics, and this is from Rita Rita, which is the same place where I got the album I'm using, and it's a company out of Spain. And now shipping has kind of become cost prohibitive, so I can't really order from them anymore, which is sad. But I found these when I did the order with the album, and I had to have them. Some of them are just generic, like this, but they were fall themed, and we were there in the fall, and so I wanted to make sure that I got those. Look at how beautiful those are. So there are just some of those general things. Now that one's actually in English, sweet home. But then there were multiple pieces that were in French. And because we did cross into France, I want to work those in. And I think the colors will work quite nicely, particularly these, because we saw a lot of old churches and old buildings and that color scheme definitely works. Even these though, it was kind of a gray day at the start. It got sunny later, but at the start it was kind of gray. So I think I could probably fit these in. I'm super happy about that because it's not often I find things in another language that I really like, but these were the exception. Similarly to the acrylics that I just showed, I have some digital elements I printed and cut out. And these are all in French and Dutch because those are the languages of the countries where we were. And I wanted to be able to use those. The French ones, I could probably tell you what most of them mean because I do speak some basic of French. Dutch, I do not. <laughs> so any of those that I have, I would have to look it up again before I use them because I can't remember that off the top of my head. That's what Google Translate's for. I can just hold it up there, scan the phrase, and it'll tell me what it means. So I don't mind using some Dutch phrases as well. So I look forward to using those. I probably printed out way too many from what I will actually use, but my daughter who went with me speaks French better than I. And she does, she doesn't scrapbook, but she does keep a journal. She might want some of those leftover pieces. So I don't feel bad about buying them. I think I paid $3 for, for the file, so I'm not too concerned. And then I have an envelope of just regular stuff that I thought might be suitable because of the neighborhoods, the architecture style. Like these make me think of Amsterdam. Some different tags. And it's a mix of just general travel things with some international things mentioned since it was an international trip. Food, more of the houses. Oh, I found this and I love it because of course in Amsterdam we saw bikes everywhere. So when you hear about that, that's not a myth or people aren't exaggerating. It's true. The bikes really are everywhere. So I have a lot of that kind of stuff and my plan is to just, you know, really incorporate as much as I can. I love this little freaking thing. And this might actually work for Ski Pole Airport. Because I think some of their signage was like blue and yellow, if I remember right. It's been a while. I wish my memory was as good as it was when I was younger. I can't remember for sure, but I just dig this little tag. So I do hope I get to use it. I also have these. These are stickers that I bought off Etsy. Oh, I can't remember the seller. If I remember, I'll try to link that seller down here, but you can get a ton of different cities and they're just see-through. You just peel them up. They're kind of vinyl stickers like, um, like vinyl, like you would use on a Cricut maybe. And I loved 
how they did the design here very minimalist but yet you can clearly tell what it is so i have those as well so I'll add those to the embellishment pile and then i have a bunch of cards both three by four and four by six i may eventually um throw more in there but these were preliminary and i even have some three by eight four by eight and these really i just picked them based on what we did so I have a couple of cards in here that are book or library themed because we went to the KBR, which is a manuscript, illuminated manuscript museum in Brussels. So I wanted to have those and then just some random things for eating and sightseeing. I had this map of France, so I figure I can just pinpoint Lille on there and use that with those photos. Very old world looking things and just lots of general stuff in colors that I thought might work. Oh, we got gelato in one place and so I thought oh maybe maybe we can work that in there this for where we stayed some good quotes in there I love these city street ones I think these are Allie Edwards from a previous travel release so I have that oh is this the ocean one yes this card from paper person love that so just some kind of everyday travel things. Um, I don't really have sets that are specific to Amsterdam or Brussels. The ones I looked at that were for Holland as a whole or for Belgium as a whole didn't really have enough of what I wanted. So I didn't buy any of those. Maybe that will change by the time I really get into this. New stuff is always releasing, so you never know. The four by six cards here, I did pull this one. And I'm thinking of using that on my title page. Again, the old world style. And then I have some that are four by six vertical, which you don't see a lot. But if I could use them, that would be fun. I'm going to put that one under there. And so this just where I can write out maybe a couple of things we did in a day or my specific impressions of something. Lots of black and white, actually. And I like this one because it says international specifically. Arrival and departure. And then this, I might actually switch this one to New York. Not sure about that. Although Amsterdam was very busy. And then some food, another street scene, which I absolutely love. I'm a sucker for that. So anytime I see that, I'm probably gonna buy it. Some general highlights that I could write in. Again, another old world looking scene there. I loved this one. I think this is from Coco Daisy from one of their kits but I love the bright colors over there, whereas everything else is very muted. I like that color. And I think this is supposed to technically be London, but I might be able to cut off some stuff and fit that in. And then just some general things. This one I liked because of the train, and we did a lot of travel by train. And then I have just a few four by eights here. Again, of things that I thought might be suitable for what we did and saw while we were there. And lastly, here are the papers that I have. It's actually quite a bit, more than you might expect since I do mostly pocket pages now. But some of these are so freaking cool, like this. It's even called Amsterdam. I mean, how could I not use it? So these are all more specialty ones. And I think these are all from Pretty Little Studio because they are eight by eight. And this is how much I loved it. I got it in a vellum and I got it <laughs> as an acetate piece because apparently I can't get enough. So I have both of those, some airplanes. And then again, I love this design so much. I bought it in both regular paper and vellum. It's called Prague, but obviously there's a mix of stuff happening there and I could use it for anything. So I really like those. I hope I get to use them. And I also have some six by eight papers. Again, I put, oh, hey, look at that. I forgot I had these. So these look like they're probably all Amsterdam themed. Or I was thinking I'd use them for Amsterdam because of the houses. That's cool, extra stuff. But then I have these papers. This definitely thinking of Amsterdam. Although Brussels isn't that different. It might work for those as well. Some colorful brick. And then more muted patterns, a little strip of a train. These are all just patterns I thought might be suitable. Some of them are pretty wild, like this. That might be kind of hard to use, but you know, what the heck? Throw them in there. 
some more brick choices. I think I was going with the old world theme, thinking like if I can't find anything else, I could use these as neutrals with brick and it would be fine. Same here, although this, mm, may have to pull one of these and put it in New York. You know what, I'm going to, <laughs> just in case, because it would work there as well. And then these were because we passed through some lovely fall colors in a couple places. So I thought maybe I could chop that up and use it. And then these again are very sort of just neutral, old style European looking options. And then this I thought again also for the KBR, that museum that had the manuscripts. This looks like some of that artwork. So I thought maybe I could get away with that. And I think that's it. Oh, no, I lied. I forgot that I had stuck some stickers in here as well. So these are all castles. And we saw a couple. We didn't go in any on this trip, but we did see them. And then we didn't see windmills, but how cute are these? And you obviously think of Amsterdam and Holland when you see these. And so I was like, okay, I'm, I'm going to put them in there. Even though the colors are not very non-traditional, put them in there. And I liked this alphabet set. So I threw that in too. Last but not least, I have two stamp sets. I have this one, which is specific to France, because again, for Lille, I could totally use some of those and they wouldn't be out of place. So I have that. And then I have this one, which is just general Europe stuff, but I love that it says exploring Europe. There is a windmill if I wanted to use it, which is cool. And a little scooter. We did see more bikes than scooters, but still I think I could use that and it would be completely fine. I love that this one says passport required. And then this one, come on, ride the train because we totally did that. So I guarantee a lot of these will get used. Maybe more than these since we were only in France for one day. But at least now you've seen everything that I have put together. Hopefully this inspires you for when you are planning to scrap a trip. Hopefully it'll help you think of what do you want to include? What do you think you might use given what you did, what you saw, and the photos that you have? So thanks for hanging out with me while I did this, and I hope you're excited to see the album as I put it together. Thanks for watching.